was just going to do a quick tutorial on how to save and reuse your clipboard history. You could download a program like Clip Diary, or if you're like me and you don't really like downloading a lot of items, you could use your Word clipboard. So let's say that you are doing a research paper on the top five healthiest fruits and you're conducting research to enable you to prepare your paper. So what you want to do is you're more than likely going to have Word open because you're preparing a paper. So I'll just go into Word and once you're in Word in your document, click on the clipboard section and that's in the home tab of course and that will bring up your clipboard here so go back to do your paper and usually what I do is if I've done a Google search and I want to save that search in case I accidentally close that tab is I will highlight and do a control C so to highlight you use your control shift key and the arrow keys and then control C will copy it the Google search for you so that you could get back into it and I'll just show you I'll go back to Word. So here it is right here. I could easily get back to that search again by clicking on this and it will actually paste it into my paper which is a good idea to keep in your paper so that you can show people what you use to prepare your paper. It's a good idea to save these resources. And I'm not talking about copywriting, I'm talking about conducting research to write a paper so you read things and then write your own words, the topic that you're writing about. So I'm just going to show you a few other things. We'll go back to the Google search. Okay, so I'm back on the Google search and if I had if I click on the top five healthy fruits to eat for weight loss, which I've done, I'll just click into here. And let's say that I wanted to just keep a section of it. I'm not going to use the, this word for word in my paper, but maybe that's part of what I want to elaborate on or add to. So I would do it, highlight it, control shift, the down arrow key, control C to copy, and then I'll go back to my Word document. I'll go into my Word document and I'll paste that blurb that I just took and then I'm going to go back to that site and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the URL that I got that information from. So highlight it, do control C, go back to your Word document, paste that in and you'll see that they're also here on my clipboard. I do it this way just because I like to have more than one source to go back to where I got my information from. I'll go back to the Google search and let's say that I went to the top nine healthy fruits to eat and maybe I wanted to elaborate on this paragraph so I would highlight, do my control C, go back to Word, do my paste, go back to the site, highlight the site URL, do my control C, do my control paste again, and you'll see that all along they're all in here as well. So I'm just going to save this. So I saved my document and you'll notice that here off to the left are all of the items that I had just saved so on the clipboard. So I'm just going to open up a new document and you'll see that all of those items are here as well. So you could have a document that holds your resources in it and then you could also have a clip your clipboard off to the side here that has all of the information that you did your research on to help you to write your document. To get rid of them all, just do a clear off. And that's how the clipboard history can work for you without downloading something. I just wanted to also add that the clipboard will only hold 24 clips, just so that you know. 
and also I wanted to add that once you clear that clipboard it is not going to be in the document that we saved before so um, what I mean by that is that even though we have these um, clips in here that we used in the original document that I called my reference uh, document, Top 5, Top Fruits, you do, that's why you want to keep the URLs, copy them into your document here as well. Because once you clear that clipboard for a new paper or a new document, this will be empty. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So right now these are the clipboard items that I had in there, but once I do clear all and I close my document and I come back, it will be empty. So I'm just going to close and I'll come back and show you what I mean. Okay, so here I am back after closing and opening and you'll see that the clipboard is actually empty. So it doesn't stay with the document. Um, forever. It only stays with the document if that's what's on your clipboard. So if let's say a week from now I was doing another document and I put a bunch of things on my clipboard, those would be the items that would be in my clipboard if I were to open up this document. So that's why I paste anything that I did copy into here and then you could just have like a reference document for the papers that you write. I hope that makes sense and it's not complicated. Have a great day.